if some bitch is going to knock me out, then I'm going to use my nunchucks. <laughs> For one. <laughs> Here's Daniel. He hasn't been in a video in a long time. But here he is, assisting. Hey guys, we're at Value Village. Look at these Polaroids. They're selling for $20. Crazy. Okay guys, we are looking for bags. What's this? Liz Soto handbags. Feels like leather. I actually haven't found good bags in a while. There's this teddy bear head I want over there, but I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Like, just the head. Oh. <laughs> Here's a Danier, but I don't know about this style. How much is it even? Does it say? This looks like Danye 10.50. No bueno. Roots. Oh, yeah, it's a fake coach. I can tell right away. El Peque. Nothing? No green meals today. <laughs> So Daniel found this amazing shirt, Loretta, Loretta Lynn, coal miner's daughter mm. from 80 to 83. 82 world tour t-shirt. It's a three quarter sleeve shirt. So it's nice. super nice. From the old main Canada tag. And um, what size is it? This is a... Uh, women's the, large? Uh, I'd say a men's large. Men's large, women's yeah, men, large? Yeah, men's vintage large. So, but it's going to fit smaller, but I can yeah. get measurements on it, but it's so cool. Look at that. If anybody's interested. You know, message, message me or Daniel. I love it. It's such a cool top. And raised print. Yes, it's a bubbled raise, yeah. Super nice. Looks good, yeah. Looks good, yeah. I mean the sleeves, I guess, yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, hang on. Ooh, I thought that was everything good. Okay. Well, save these for last. Carhartt men's jacket. Nice. I mean it's missing the hood, but I think this jacket alone is nice. 49, not a bad. It has the cocoa paving. I had that before. Blackout logo. And these are really nice. I love the dolphin one, but this one's so cute. Look at it. Penguins. You like them? Yeah. Black Mountain. Made in USA. This one's made in China. No, it is not. It's <laughs> yeah, it's so USA. Nice. They're so cute, these ones, though, man. Cool. Yeah, they are. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Philly. We are doing a haul portion of the video. Let's get right into it. I want to show you all the things that we thrifted in the last uh, few days. So let's get right into it. So we picked up these two items uh, from Bath and Body Works. They were $3.99 a piece, less a $2 off coupon. I think we ended up paying like $3.20 a piece, which I feel like is a good deal. Cashmere Glow. I don't know. I've never smelled the scent, but I feel like it might smell a little something like Donna Karen's uh, cashmere perfume. This one is a shower gel. This one is a bubble bath. I didn't actually know they carried like a bubble bath. So we picked those up. We've been collecting these. We're not going to return them to Bath and Body Works because I've been collecting a lot of these right now. So to add to our collection, we have Midsummer Dream, Cucumber Melon, Twinkling Midnight Sky. These two little mini cute ones. Um, uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom, Warm Vanilla Sugar. And then Salt Water Breeze and um, A Thousand Wishes. So we're kind of collecting these because I feel like they'll make like cute little trinkets for Christmas. Like little extra gifts for people. Not that I really have a lot of people to give gifts to. <laughs> I mean, don't really have that many friends no more. So, but I'm okay with that. We're okay.
okay with less friends, okay? I feel like as you grow older, your pool of people become smaller and uh, it takes a lot to penetrate that pool and enter it. Okay. Um, I picked up this bag. It is a mat and nat and it's cute. It was only $6.50 after the discount. It was missing the zipper pull, but I just used this Rebecca Minkoff zipper pull. It kind of clashes with the hardware, hardware, and I'm sure I can eventually find a silver zipper pull to kind of match with the antique silver uh, hardware, but uh, whatever. For now, I just put that on. Um, very good quality. I love the style for Matt and Nat, and this is super clean. Vegan leather, vegan leather, probably retailed for $120. This cute Michael Kors wristlet was $8, uh, Salvation Army, and I think the receipt's still in here, yeah. But yeah, Salvation Army, Michael Kors, $8. Good deal for that. I picked up this Danny leather yesterday. I was kind of contemplating on picking it up, but then I was like, oh, I guess I will. But it is missing a cross body strap, so that kind of have, has to play a factor in this. And it was $6.50, bucket bag style. It has this, I love these. I have two of these already. Um, I feel like these will make super, like, it's, you could utilize this as like a sex toy, because like, ow, like it really hurts. And kind of can get kinky with that. Michael Kors passport holder for $8, less $2 off. Cute. Has a built-in kind of like card holder there too. <sighs> Coach. Now I paid up for this. I paid $39. That's such a weird number to put, $39. Um, I picked it up because I feel like it's such a good style. Uh, you have the nylon for durability and then leather trim and handles. And I picked it up. I picked it up because I feel like we don't have a coach outlet here. So really the only way to get coach in my city is the actual boutique store in our mall. And there it's super expensive. So I feel like I can get maybe like 60 to yeah, 60, 65 for this. Super cute tote. Front zip pocket. I love this detail right here. This beautiful Dior blazer. Oh, made in USA, size 14. So I'd say it's like an extra large or a little bit you know, maybe a uh, oversized extra large right there. It was $15 made in USA, 100% wool. Super cute guys. This would make such a good basic staple in someone's wardrobe. I love, it's like a classic style that will never go out of style. Good silhouette on it too. So here are the two wallflowers I got. Um, seven dollars for this one i don't know why it's so fucking expensive this one is four dollars and i use a two dollar off coupon i think sometimes these go on sale for five dollars a piece but um those are usually the regular ones like that one over there but i guess because it's decorative it's a little bit more expensive so i bought these because i actually need them I'm gonna put this one in my bathroom i picked up this bath and body works um lighthouse uh wallflower because these are actually expensive. I think the cheapest they go is $5 and that's on sale. So $4 for that, less a discount. And then we got this for $3, Yankee Candle. Well, actually Daniel found it. Um, 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 mango lemonade. Mm, smells like a tropical paradise. Oh, the candle was uh, $3. Okay, we found this. They kind of up-priced it. They up-priced Daniel leather like crazy now. I don't know why probably because of my videos <laughs> but um yeah so it's a uh, Danny leather this beautiful pewter kind of color I think that's pewter right metallic pewter maybe uh nine dollars use a two dollar off or 20 percent off coupon something maybe a two dollar off um matches the inside color love these I always get them because I can utilize them for like airpods or for uh coins or whatever you want to put in them headphones um and I don't think I've actually thrifted this color before I like that color a lot I picked up two Michael Kors straps, which is perfect because I actually have a bag that needs this strap in silver hardware. <laughs> so um, we got them for $2 a piece. Two Michael Kors, uh, one uh, black and one gray. I'm just showing you guys one, but I actually thrifted four of these in total. Pampers, baby wipes. Um, but they never had this for $2. So I don't know why they had it for $2. Location though that 
was okay. It doesn't really upprice these things. But some locations will literally price these for $3.99, $4.99. I mean, they did raise the price at Dollar Tree or Dollarama. At Dollarama in Canada, these are $2.50. In the United States of America, these are a dollar twenty-five American, which ends up being like less than two dollars Canadian. So, but we two dollars, and then we got like a two dollar off coupon out of using, out of purchasing four of them. So I thought that was a deal. Although I don't really need these that much anymore because I did buy a bidet. <laughs> so um, we bought a bidet off Amazon. Oh my god, guys! Ugh. I've used bidets before, and the thing is, we were poor in the Philippines, so it's like it was a prehistoric archaic bidet which is literally like um container like this and it has a handle and then you scoop water and then you pour it on your privates and wash it via your hand um that's how it was done in third world countries and a lot of people who are um cultured would know that <laughs> but um yeah that's how we used to wash our asses and down there when we lived in the philippines because uh, we didn't have a bidet but um after that, when I moved back to Canada and we didn't have a bidet, we didn't do that here because it wasn't known to be doing that here. I would always use like paper towels to, um, and I would wet them and I would use that to wipe my ass after doing a number two, um, TMI. <laughs> but, and a lot of people, ew, that's so weird. And what I thought was weird was, bitch, you wiping your ass with dry toilet paper is unsanitary. Like that's like getting poo on your hand and like taking a Kleenex and just wiping the poo off like that. I mean, they're still gonna smell the poo. There's gonna be remnants of poo there. So like you need something wet to wash it. So like an ass, like a hand, you need to wash your ass. And trust me, ugh, bidets are worth the investment. You have an edible ass and everything is fine and dead. You just feel, you just feel a lot cleaner. And feeling clean is like one of those things that a lot of people take for granted. Like there's a lot of people in the world that feel like they can't be clean or don't ha have access to being clean. So, and I only paid like literally $50 off Amazon and then I paid my handyman to like install it in my toilet. Let me know guys if you, how you wipe your asses. I'm actually curious. <laughs> I know it's TMI, but we share that here. Um, but yeah, I'm a bidet bitch now. Are you a bidet bitch? Do you use wipes? Do you use dry toilet paper? Please tell me you don't use dry toilet paper because I'm going to call you out with your stinky ass. So I bought this. Um, uh, they were $5 less, $2 off. They're called Lure Professional Rubber Hair Rollers. Now, I'm not a curler using bitch. I just don't have the time or the patience to do that. So I felt like rollers would be more like up my alley. I could put them before I go to bed or something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do have you guys used rollers? Let me know. Are they still a thing? I, I don't want it to be like that. I just want like waves. Like my hair does that naturally, but I want it a little bit more wavy, you know? I don't know. I bought them for that and we'll see if they work. I feel like they're easy to use too, so. I usually don't buy Rebecca Minkoff anymore because Rebecca Minkoff like has shit resale value, like total and utter putrefied, decomposing shit resale value i'm sorry rebecca minkoff is not a thing no mo uh, but i mean for the price i just couldn't resist and i love that kind of baby pink color and it was literally five dollars less than two dollar off coupons so i mean were we gonna deny ourselves a rebecca minkoff leather bag for three dollars i don't think so <laughs> it has the back pocket and the adjustable chain so you could have it like long or short vice versa and yeah so we bought it nonetheless nunchucks now we bought nunchucks because we asian i literally i don't need these i have no use for them i'm not going to use them for decoration i'm probably going to use it as a weapon to knock a bitch out if i was in dire need and dire straits but i saw them in the showcase and i was like oh it's like i was like being gravitated toward it because i'm asian it's like oh it's like pulling me toward it i'm like you're asian you need nunchucks i mean it makes sense to me and they're five dollars so hello yes asian uh, if some bitch is going to knock me out then i'm going to use my nunchucks i feel like we overpaid a bit but whatevs twenty dollars and fifty cents again coach i would like to get a longer strap for it too for crossbody um i guess we'll wait on that but it was twenty dollars and fifty cents leather um and we used a twenty percent off coupon so is it factory outlet? It is not a factory outlet. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> this I love. Okay, so if you know, Michael Kors totally redesigned the Hamilton a few years ago. They don't make it in this style anymore. They have a new Hamilton with a new style, but I love the old style Hamilton. We have paid for this bitch. It was $60 less a 20% off coupon, but the fact that they don't make it anymore, that's why I picked it up and I love this. It just is so reminiscent of the mid 2000s where it was like, yeah, Michael Kors, Hamilton. This is the East West model. And you can tell it's older because of their inside it has a circle MK. That was their old lining. And yeah, and it's in great, perfect condition with no wear whatsoever. And that's why we picked it up. I mean, you know, you want to get those vintage bags that don't, that are not on the market anymore. I feel like it sets you apart. I feel like this era of Michael Kors was just more, I don't know, it was more, he wasn't as like saturated then. I mean, he was, but he wasn't. Now it's kind of like Michael Kors is like Kate Spade. It's like, like even like maybe like Calvin Klein. No offense to Calvin Klein, but I don't know. I feel like I like older Michael Kors. And we picked this up. It's kind of funny because I was in the aisle looking at bags and Daniel was in front of me. Then he turns around, he's like, oh, this bag. And I was like, bitch, that's mine. You, you want, I would have gone to it eventually. It's just, you were showing your shit in front of me because he was showing like all his stuff that he found. I was like, if you hadn't come here, I would have found it anyway, okay? So that bitch is mine. Is this beautiful? Oh, I mean, $8.50 for a fossil? Hello? This probably retailed for like $150. And it has that kind of textured, sparkly glitter um, black right there. And it's in perfect condition. There is like, like minor, 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 minor corner wear, corner wear, has this beautiful gray, like, uh, purse charm, has a top handle and a crossbody strap, has a back slip pocket, and inside is clean, <laughs> like my future vagina. There, see? Super cute. I love that. It's such a fall color, guys. Hello, walking in September with this bag is a must. Last but certainly not least, we picked up this vintage Celine bag, made in Italy, uh, faux dollars for a luxury bag, hello. Um, love that detail on the zipper pull right there. Um, although I will be honest, I mean, I would still pick it up regardless, but, um, and you know, it's so old with that tag right there. It says Celine Paris made in Italy and it has M12. And also the back of the zippers are marked Riri Swiss. Um, the zipper is broken. So like, look, it does the whole separating thing. Oh, but I mean, I don't really care. I mean, vintage bags, especially ones that are so old back out the day, they're so much more harder to find. There's going to be a day where they're just not available anymore one day. And you know, you want to keep them and grab them when you can. So like I looked up online, they said that you can fix that, but I tried doing their trick where you, um, where is it? Uh, like use a like pliers and press down on here while it's up here. And then it kind of makes the track stick together, but it did, but then it didn't. So I don't know. I feel like the track is just so tight. I can't even like bring it back. I don't know if I just need to like replace a whole zipper. I don't know. I feel like I don't want to touch that because it's just so iconic. Like they, this was a pattern from Celine. I think it's called the Mecca, Macadam, Macadamia, something like that. But they brought back that pattern on all their newer bags. So, I mean, hello, it's kind of like trendy now. Um, I thought this kind of looked a little cheap, but I mean, it's growing on me now. Yeah, <laughs> so. But yeah, it's so unfortunate about that zipper. I mean, I'm sure I can get that zipper pro professionally fixed, but it's just, what are you gonna do? You know, that's the Celine. Probably the best find owed the week. Love it, because um, I'm a handbag girl. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's long enough. Um, let me know which item I thrifted is your favorite. If you're interested in anything that Daniel has, go message him on Instagram or message me, and I will parlay the message to him. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Like I said, don't forget to let me know which item I thrifted is your favorite. Of course, mine is the Celine Vintage Handbag. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye.